Hello everyone, welcome back. In today's session, let's talk about how we can create Excel report and how we can apply Excel formulas using Python Open PY Excel. So guys, as you know, Excel is one of the first tools used by the companies all around the world to analyze data to gain insight, okay? So, and using Python and its supportive library, we can easily handle the Excel reports and its analysis. So let me tell you, you know, how we can do that. So first of all, I am going to importing the library that is called Open PY Excel, and I'm going to import the load workbook, right? And here I am going to load my workbook. Let's say I'm taking a variable workbook equal to load workbook. And here I am passing my file name that is called superstore.xlsx. So guys, I have created the workbook object, right? And now what I'm doing here, I am going to set the object, okay? So first of all, let me set an object of my worksheet. So first of all, let me check, you know, what kind of worksheet I have. So guys, I have only single worksheet, which is order. So guys, let me set an object, let's say order equal to workbook and orders. So I have created a successfully object of my existing worksheet that is called orders. So guys, in case, let's say if you are not aware about the open PY Excel, so I have created multiple videos on the open PY Excel. So you can watch all these videos. So you will have complete understanding how we can handle the Microsoft Excel using open PY Excel. And I will be provide this playlist link in the description below. All right. So as I just mentioned, I have created the orders object of my spread worksheet. So guys, let's say, first of all, I am going to pick a particular column. And based on that, I want to find out their unique value. So I am going for the column is state. So let me show you, you know, first of all, what kind of columns I have. So simple, let's say cell dot value and cell in order. And I'm going to reading a very first row from the data. So guys, these are my headers in my workbook. All right. Now, if I'm going to find out the index of order, so it is a very easy because this is the list data structure and here directly I can write index of the state. So I am having 10th. It means on the 10th position, I have the column that is called state. All right. So what I'm doing here, I am going to identify the column containing values to check for duplicate duplicates. All right. So how we can do that? So guys, uh, I have already find out the state or you can say that index. So source column index easy. So you can see here, right? So if I want to check how many columns I have in the data set, how we can check. So simple order and I can check max column. So I have only 21 column. All right. So now the question is, how we can find the unique value or how we can store the unique value. Okay, so to store the unique value, I am going to create a variable that is called unique values and I'm going to declare a set data structure. All right, what I'm doing here, I am going to apply the loop right on a single row. Let's say order, iter rows and my minimum row will be, min row will be two and here the value only two. Now, simple. And here on which column I am going to find out, I am saying for the source column, source index column. All right, guys. So whatever the data I am receiving from that column, that data I am going to add in my set data structure. And you know very well, set data structure will contain only the unique item from that column. All right, so I have done it. Now I am going to display the unique value. So these are the unique state from that column. How many state we have? So we have 49 state. So we can verify as well. So let me open the superstore.xlsx and let me copy the column that is called state. And let me paste here and let me remove the duplicate items. So guys, you can see here, 
9,945 duplicate value we found and we have removed those. Now we have only 49 unique value, right? So the same answer we are having in my Jupyter notebook as well. Easy. Now I am going to create a new column, okay, where I want to paste these unique state. So new column index equal to let's say order dot max column. So I have 21 column. So it means on the 26th column, right? On the 26th column, I am going to create a new column, right? So order dot cell and here the new column index and that value should be, let's say unique state. Simple guys. Okay. Very simple concept. Let me do the same thing. And on the 27th column, I am going to define another column, let's say total quantity. So whatever the column you want, you can, you can, you know, define it. And again, on the next column, I am going to supply, you know, some more stuff, postal code. Okay. Or maybe I can say that only three column I am going to create right now. Let's assume, let's say, you know, date transformation. Any column you can supply here, whatever you want. Easy. Now I am going to apply some formulas. Okay. So I am going to iterate through unique value, unique states, and I am going to apply sum if formula. Okay, guys. So using the sum if function, we can calculate the sum based on some certain conditions. So let me apply the loop state, whatever the unique state I have, enumerate, and now unique values and start equal to two. Simple concept. Let's say in this ordered spreadsheet, I'm using app string concept and on the Z column, okay, in the value of I, it means on the value of, or you can say that on the row number two, I am going to define my state. Okay. So first of all, I am reading a unique state. So for an example, let's say this is this Idaho, right? Will be saved on the jet. Too. All right. And now I am going to apply the formula again, the same thing. And here next column that is called double a the value of i and here what i'm doing so equal to sum f let me apply the formula okay manually so that we can copy the formula and we can paste here so guys these are state okay and here i am going to apply the formula right so what i'm doing here equal to sum f this is the range state is the range okay and here i am taking my state and then i am doing sum of range it means sum of sales that's how i am going to calculate the total sales against the each state right so can i copy this simple let me copy and here let me paste here simple i have pasted so right now this z2 right which is representing this state but here my state will be changed automatically based on the value of i so you have to change something let's say i'm not passing here the z2 so can i pass directly the column name is the state like this the state so i can pass guys directly here okay and let me done this that's how you know we can apply the formula so here the k column representing my state and the r column is representing is my or let's say i have defined this variable as a total quantity so total quantity is the s column easy now what i am doing here let me define a, another formula for the uh, you know you can say that if i want to map the postal code we'll discuss that part Okay, or maybe let's say, let me tell you another way how we can create a total quantity. 
another way, right? So let's say two and three and four, and I'm saying total quantity second. And instead of this, guys, what you can do, I am saying another column, which is AB. Instead of a state, right? Directly, you can pass here. The column is Z. In this curly braces, directly, you can pass the value of I. That's how you can also achieve the formula of Microsoft Excel. After that, what I'm doing here, workbook.save, uh, let's say, super store formula dot excel sx so guys let me close this workbook okay i have created whatever the column i want and based on that i have applied only the two formulas let me open this super store underscore formula workbook so guys you can see here right we have added the total quantity Okay, here you can see directly I'm passing the, you know, state. And in the next way, let's say I am passing the reference. Okay, whatever the reference I have. And that's how you can apply any formula in the Microsoft Excel using the Python. Let me apply some other formulas as well. Apply the VLOOKUP. It means using the lookup value, I want to find out the postal code of each state. What do you mean by this? Let's say you can open this workbook again and here i want to map the postal code so simple v lookup so simple v lookup based on this state right i am going to find out the postal code easy so this is the postal code i can easily find out so what i am doing again let me copy here so how we can apply this formula as well so simple order f the column is ac and again i equal to f is my f string you can paste the formula and you can you know added this formula accordingly so here i need of i and from the k column simple k column to the l column right that's how we can apply the formula easy And similarly, guys, let's say I want to transform my date as well. So for an example, what I want, let's say text. And in the, I have this order date, right? In the C column. Maybe I want in this format. Maybe I want entire day. What is the day? What is the date? And I want complete abbreviation of the month. And I need, you know, year. Like this. So that's how you know I want my data. So simple here as well. I can copy this formula. So simple in case that formula is working in that Microsoft Excel, the same formula you can apply here and it will work. So order and F and AD column, the value of I equal to F. And here you can paste that formula. Simple concept. Right. And here again. I can pass the C. Simple concept. All right. Now I am going to save this workbook with different name. Let me do this. Superstore formula one. Okay. I hope you understood, right? How I am going to apply the formula. It's a very interesting concept. All right. Now let me run this. So guys, we have run successfully and we'll check, let's say, uh, my workbook, which is super stored formula one. So here it is perfectly working, right? That's how I have applied the total quantity. And this is the another way. And we have applied successfully the VLOOKUP and we have applied the formula of X function. Okay. So simple, any formula you can apply in, in that Excel. If that formula is working in, in this current worksheet and the same formula we can replicate here. So okay, it's a very easy concept to apply the formula. Okay, so there are n number of formulas you can apply. I am telling you what are those. So from open py excel and I am going to find out utilities and I'm going to import formula. Formula. Okay, and now I am going to print all the formulas, right? 
all the formulas of the Excel. So you can see here, there are n number of formulas you can easily apply in the Microsoft Excel. And the same formula you can replicate here accordingly. This is a very interesting concept. Okay. So guys, I hope you understood, you know, how we can design this logic, how we can create it as separate columns. Okay. And how we can iterate on the unique value of the set data structures and how I am going to using the concept of alpha string. So this is a very interesting concept. All right. So guys, that's it in the session. And that's how we can apply the formula based on our requirement. So guys, in case if you are facing any issue to apply any Excel formula in OpenPY Excel or maybe other queries, please let me know in the comment box. So for now, do the practice of this session. Thanks for watching and have a great day.